straight. Welcome back to Public Announcement. Our focus today is on the unemployment. The National Bureau of Statistics declared in the 2012 Baseline Youth Survey Report issued in Abuja in collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Youth Development that 54% of Nigerian youth were unemployed. According to the survey, of these 54% of youth population unemployed, females stood at 51.9% compared to their male counterparts with 48.1%. In addition, out of 46,000 836 youths recorded against different types of crime, 42,071 representing 75.5% were males, while the remaining 24.5% were females, a consequence of prolonged idleness. <laughs> Among the 32 different crimes committed, marijuana smoking has the highest figure, representing 15.7% and was followed by theft and murder with 8.1% and 7.4% respectively. The least committed crime was immigration emigration representing 0.04%. Every year, universities and tertiary institutions across the country churn out thousands of legible and sometimes illegible graduates who all compete for the already limited job opportunities. Daydreamers, we can call them. Because imagine that about 30,000 students of petroleum chemical engineering graduates every year can the Nigerian oil and gas industry muster that level of absorptive capacity even when they stretch themselves maximum. Is rapid technological advancement not even gradually substituting human labor? Simply put, even these companies are downsizing rather than employing. The trainings acquired in our institutions are not aligned to the realities in the relevant industries and the society at large. Labor experts say unemployment sometimes arises as a result of imbalance between the kinds of skills needed by employers and what job seekers can offer. The imbalances may be caused by deficiency in skills, location or personal characteristics. Unemployment is universal. However, various countries, especially developed ones, know the danger and consequences of unemployment and work hard to bring the rates down. In these countries, there are various effective schemes and programs put in place and overseen by committed persons to address unemployment. Another canker one is favoritism in the allocation of the few jobs available, especially but not exclusively to the public sector. We have put in place deliberate policies that have destroyed healthy competitions, hard work and fairness in our society. Hip TV hits the streets as usual to sample the public's opinion on the state of unemployment in the country, how they cope and what is most likely the way forward. The government is responsible and the individuals too is responsible. Why I say that the government is responsible? Because some of youth, they will graduate finish, no work for them. They will look for a job, no work. And most young guys, they don't want to work. That's another problem. They don't want to work. They just want to do on their own, you know, without doing anything. And while it's some that want to work, there's nothing for them to start up a business or be on their own. I can say that government should try every own means to see what they can do about it. For me, particularly, I like self-employed because when you are self-employed, you have chance to do whatever thing you want to do. But if you're employed, you don't, I don't think that you have chance to do whatever you want to do, except civil servants. There is challenges for self-employed. Like as I, as I, I told you earlier, you know, if you're self-employed, maybe let, let's assume that you're doing business and you don't have enough cash to do the business, those are the challenges that you're facing. I'm, I'm the voice of the street. Well, um, more importantly, let's say first and foremost, I will say the government somehow are responsible because it is their duty to provide a job for the citizen of the country. And on the other hand, looking at the situation of the country, I think um, we should try to do something by ourselves because as it is, the government is not ready to help anybody. So you just have to help yourself. So I think everybody should try and look for one or two things to do. And another problem that I'm having with some graduates of these days is that most of them want to, want to earn something bigger than them. 
you know nobody wants to start from the scratch everybody wants to start making it big from the onset but i believe if everybody could just understand that starting very low can also take you up higher someday at least it will go a long way to help all. but in a nutshell governments are meant to provide job for the individuals for the citizens of the country but in a situation whereby as it is now unemployment is a big problem in nigeria you just have to look for something to do yourself you just have to create a job by yourself and make sure you are self-employed because that is the only way you can survive in this country because mana cannot fall from heaven you just have to hustle for yourself i'm the voice of the streets i'm the voice of the streets well i think it's both ways the government obviously has a role to play um you would just recall what just happened a few days ago close to a million people were locked up in stadiums trying to get you know immigration jobs and so on um, so you would say the government has a role to play um, one in supporting the right education that would ensure people are well developed and ready for the job market um, the individual themselves also have a responsibility because it is uh, the government can make the schools better but if the individual doesn't develop himself then also the individual will not be able to find the, the good jobs um, our schools yes have you know deteriorated you know the level of the level and quality of schools that we, some of us, attended is not the same you find today. You see students come out of school, um, university, and can't speak good English. They, they cannot make complete sentences, and not even you know up to the level where you, you think about employing and so on. Um, so I think it's it's both ways. So government has a role to play, but the individual himself needs to develop himself. And maybe everyone looking for employment, you know, that doesn't need to be. You know, some individuals might think about entrepreneurship, might think about developing skills that will assist them to be self-employed and become employers of labor themselves. And the government is also trying to put in place some schemes that would help, vocational skills that might help people to develop those skills and become employers of labor themselves. Do you think there are any hindrances to being self-employed? Well, yes. I mean, we, we have challenges as a country in Nigeria, right? I mean, the, the very basic things that we need that would assist us to become, you know, self-employed are not there. The, the basic amenities, the basic infrastructure that will assist us. Just take example, for example, power. You know, someone who is young, maybe out of school, has done some basic schooling and desires to start something small, maybe like hair, um, you know, hair salon and so on, and struggles with power. She must have to buy a generator, you know, and fuel that generator. Fuel is so expensive to get and so on. That is obviously an impediment to becoming such an, I mean, to, to starting such a small, small business. So imagine just taking and fixing that power problem alone. The springboard effect it, this would have on the economy would be large because then people will be able to start small businesses like that, sourcing those small businesses and be able to even employ people in the end. You look at countries like America and some other European countries, they thrive on small and medium term enterprises because those are the real bone, that those are what make, you know, um, they become the real employers of labor. I mean, if you go to America, a lot of those employed are in small businesses, not even in the big businesses that we think about because they are the right, you know, infrastructure, the, the, the right amenities and the right, you know, um, environment for people to be able to thrive with those small businesses. The government also supports them with loans and I know that Nigeria is trying, I mean, the microfinance scheme that started, you know, recently is geared towards that, but I don't know how successful that has been in helping the real people that need it. It appears that the people who actually do not need those small loans are the ones that are getting the loans and not the real you know um, people who need those loans to be able to start up small businesses Welcome to the streets. So I feel me by you, they don't occur the beats. I mean, be no more parallel to beats. I'm in the boss, I'm in the battle, yeah, I'm in the king. Huh? I'm the voice of the streets. On March 15, 2014, the Nigerian Immigration Service NRS recruitment exercise at various examination centers across the country brought to the fore the extent to which unemployment had eaten deep into the fabrics of the Nigerian society and needs to top the list of our government's priorities. More appalling, embarrassing and derogatory were the turnout of graduates for the test at the Lagos and Abuja test centers held at the National Stadium Surulere and Abuja Stadium respectively and the avoidable death of about 15 candidates from the stampede. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
On this episode of Public Announcement, Hip TV focuses on the growing rate of unemployed graduates, the enormous effects of national development and growth, and the unforeseen catastrophe looming the country. Welcome to the streets, to my family by you, the donor code of beats. I mean, be no more parallel to beats. I mean, the boss, I mean, the bad dog, yeah, I mean, the king. I'm the voice of the streets. I'm the voice of the streets.